There's a decent chance that Steve Rogers knew about Spider-Man before he made his web-slinging debut during the airport fight in Captain America Civil War. Though this theory is really simple, it actually makes a lot of sense. Think back to the fight between Spider-Man and Captain America. Neither of them really held back at all, which would be out of character for both of the heroes had they thought that they were fighting normal humans. But Spidey, on the other hand, had Tony, who probably let him know that he can go all out on Cap. On the other hand, though, who told Captain America that it was okay to throw an entire sky bridge at a child? The only way that Cap would have done that would be if he knew who Spider-Man was and that he wasn't going to be squished to death.